So what is my initial consensus on anti-gravity as a tool? Well, I think it is really good. It's obviously this two weeks has played out very nicely because I haven't really encountered a lot of the issues that the internet said there was. I haven't hit any usage limits after about 30 minutes of work. I know that 30 minutes isn't a typical coding stint with complex code bases with many hundreds of files. I imagine usage limits are probably going to be lower. But for small tasks and small project work that I've done today, very good. Cannot complain. Is it a good IDE? Again, initial thinking, yes. I think it's clean. It looks good. It's relatively clear on what you are doing. And I have no complaints. I could probably get used to it as a daily working tool. I love the Tokyo night theme. Things are laid out in fairly discoverable places and it didn't take too much to get going with. So again, very good. My complaints of it so far have mostly been, as I've talked about in the video, is the fact that it, it feels overly autonomous for me. I don't think my opinion will be shared by everybody. I think some people will agree, but a lot of people do love this sort of autonomous mode. But I must admit, when it's just working away, it is relatively disconcerting and also hard to keep track of. Because at the same time, it's making these code changes. And if you have something like V running, as we do in this project, it's just hot reloading it in. I mean, it doesn't, it's not waiting to build it. And I would be nervous about letting this free on an existing project of mine, just because it's just make, it's making code change after code change. I'm not get, being presented quickly with the diffs. I'm not getting, I'm not being allowed to sign off on things. Now there might be settings for this. I'm again, fully hands up. I haven't looked if there's settings to turn this off, but again, a lot of people are just going to use it out of the box like I have. So I would like maybe a little bit more of a granular control over the agent from the, from, from the get-go. And my last small, and it's not even a gripe because I'd have to, we'd have to verify and wait for the group consensus really on how this is, but I'm always just reminded this is a Google product. I have downloaded this. I'm using Gemini 3 Pro, low and high. I'm using it for a, you know, a very, very context heavy task or what would be a very context heavy task. And I'm acutely aware that it's free. And that is because you are the product. Most likely as there's a lot of Google things. So again, I'm giving Google a lot of IP of code. Again, it doesn't matter much in this test scenario where I'm just getting it to create something for fun, but in real world applications where I'm developing things you know, for clients as well as myself, a part of me would be you know, just, just acutely aware of where your information is going. Now, some people won't care, you know, they, they care, they care about cost and for cost, great deal, but for privacy, it might be slightly more questionable.